So this here is as far as I will go today because I don't think that this is on I don't think that I have the energy to walk any further and then back. This way that you see right now is back. And this is what I've never seen before. Um, it's not very specific in the movie, I think, because everything looks the same. But when you're actually here, it doesn't. Um, and also, I'm following this um, road of where scooters have been um, going. <laughs> and because my boyfriend told me that I shouldn't be walking all over the place um, in case I fell into the water, which I don't think is even possible because it's been like eber cold for like ages. Uh, but uh, he said that if I follow the scooter track then I would probably be okay. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I don't think <laughs> that he actually thought that the ice would mm, break under me, but <laughs> I think that what he was thinking about was like, you know, there are these certain places on the lake where, you, where the ice might be, you know, possibly be breaking if you walk on it. And that's like close to the shore, which I'm not at all right now. <clears throat> yeah, I am. But <laughs> since there's a scooter track here, then I assume that many people has have gone here before without falling into any water. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I've been walking like half an hour, and. If I fell into the water right now, that would probably mean that I would die. Seriously, because um, you would, I would get so cold and trying to walk home. Even if it doesn't seem very cold to me right now because I have all these clothes on, if they got all wet, they would be heavy and I would be cold and... I mean, that's assuming I could get out of the water. But I bet that the ice over here is like one meter thick. So that would be okay. <laughs> that would be like I would never fall into the water. Even if uh, I was taught as a kid that you should never walk on ice with snow on it. Hmm. No? Yeah. But, <laughs> as my boyfriend said before I went out, he said that if I find ice that don't have snow on it, then I should watch out. Because why would there be ice without snow on it now? I mean, it's been so cold for so long, and it's been snowing like crazy. Oh, look, it's even starting to snow now. And if there was ice without snow on it, then there would be something fishy going on. So, uh, that would be a big no-no up here. Well, it all depends on where you live, I think. Uh, are you tired of looking at the view? <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I never will be, I think. But I am tired of all the snow. I want to be walking in the forest again, on my own special track, but that um, apparently is something that I will have to wait until spring, which is like two months away or something. Uh, <laughs> it was so funny, Brad Thunder was like, yeah, it would be funny to see the uh, environment change around you, and I was like, yeah, but it won't change. For a long time, and now you can see that it doesn't change very much. Well, it does. There is more snow now <laughs> because it's been snowing more and more. But um, 
It doesn't look very different, though. Even if the snow is thicker, it looks the same. Only the trees got shorter. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Um, I'll stop now with an image of the beautiful, wonderful sun. I can do this. Or I can do this with my phone. Oh, dear God. How is that even possible? I made the sun disappear. Okay. So funny. Bye.